Okay, so we've installed the EX, ESXi client and what we'll do is we'll access it now through vSphere, the vSphere client. And so we normally have the username of root to be able to access it. It just takes a little minute to to connect. So the other way we can access it is through SSH. Okay. So we can see the the VMs running on this machine. So this is the main controller node for the system. So lab manager is running. There is a router storage and a virtual center. Okay, so we can have a look at all the resources on this this client. Okay, so we can see it's a Dell PowerEdge R410 server with eight CPUs. There are four VMs running on it and you can see the CPU and the memory and the amount of the guest operating system that's used. The provision space and the actual use space. We can look at the performance of each of the the VMs. And within configuration we can actually see all the details of our our client. So we can see the number of processors here, the memory and so on. So memory is a key thing on the machine and we can see in this case we have 12 gig of actual physical memory you can see on the machine that we have a number of users there's the root user and the VPX user we can look at our events on the client and the basic permissions Okay, so there's the VPX user and root. If we need to, then we can look at the basic settings for each of the VMs that are on the machine. So this is Lab Manager that's running on one of the VMs. Look at this resource allocation. And if we need to, we can actually suspend, restart it. This is a router VM that's running on the, the machine. We have a storage, storage one and virtual center. In the configuration, we can look at all the, the basic details of the machines, so such as the shared storage, the networking that we have. And we can see here that we have two virtual switches. One we can see is linking the internal student network in this case, 
on to the router and we have a, an adapter on to this interface and then we can see the router is also connected to the other virtual switch which means that all the traffic from the student network must go through the router which actually has a firewall on it. So we can see here this is on the the inside the this is on the outside interface. So we can see that we have the outside interface of the router, lab manager, virtual center and the storage is all connected to an external network connection here. And we also have our management network that we connect to. And then on the other side we have a virtual switch which is connecting the, the inside port of the router to the student network which is created on the VMs. We can easily add networks and remove them as required. Okay, so it has some basic other things. We can see on this device that we have two network cards. One is a, is a one gigabit connection and the other one is a hundred megabits.